Hi, this is Neil Walters at neilwalters.com. Welcome to my kitchen today. In this video, I want to be talking about distilled water. A couple of years ago, I made a decision that I wanted to drink more pure water, so I bought this little distiller. It's called a Mega Home. It was a, I'll give you the price later under the video. I think it was a little over $200. And uh, what it does, it basically, you fill this thing with water, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, and it boils the water. And this is like a still, just like they make alcohol, basically. Uh, the distilling process is the water boils, it comes to the top, and this little top here basically has a, a fan in it, and the water goes through the hole as steam, and then the fan makes it cool down, and then it basically just drops out of here one drop at a time. And the amazing thing is it actually takes about four to five hours to boil and to distill this much water, which creates uh, this little thing over here, which I don't know if it's a gallon and a half, or a, I think it's a gallon and a half, I think. Anyway, so then it makes this water for you. Now, a warning is that with distilled water, you've basically taken all the minerals out of the water, so you need to re-add minerals. So let me show you what I use for Dr. Tassar. There's one thing I use. This is called uh, Ionic Magnesium Concentrate. And I usually, when I make an individual drink, I put a squirt of this in there. And then the other concept I've got from several people is you can make Soleil salt. And what this is, is Himalayan salt. You fill it about one-third or half with salt, and then the rest with like your distilled water. And then over time, as you make, like every time I make one of these, I just add a few drops of the salt water to it. Now you might think, salt, that's bad for you, that's bad for your blood pressure. I can refer you to a couple of books I've been reading that, you know, you do need a certain amount of salt. And this is not just salt, it's uh, like got 85 different minerals in it. So you have to read, do your own research to decide, you know, what you need to put in your distilled water. The idea is if you drink distilled water by itself, it can actually suck the minerals out of your body and then you're sending those down the, the commode, right? So when you make your water, this is a two-hand jobber here. I usually stir it a little bit with a wooden spoon, but I think it's already kind of mixed up to make sure that salt water is mixed. And I'm showing you here a couple different uh, things you can put your water in. I usually use this one right here. And you can see this fills up about one of them. And... I have about half left over. So you can either use these large 64 ounce mason jars or you can buy these little things that are, are kind of like water dispensers. Except they're very slow to get the water out through the spout. So that's one reason I don't like them. I think it's easier to pour from here. So there you go. That's five hours worth of water right there. So what I usually do, that's about how much I drink a day by the way. I usually make a, a pot every night when I go to bed or when I leave for work in the morning and it runs five hours. It does make a slight humming sound, but it's, it's no big deal. If, it's, if you're in the same room with it, it's quieter than like running a dishwasher, but the sound might bother you a little bit. There's a, a cap you can put on here. Basically, you just got to make sure that the spout comes right into the hole there as you fill it up. So now we're going to fill this up. And uh, I'll just show you in the video. I don't know how good this is going to show. This is kind of like the gook that you actually have coming out of your city water, okay? Now, there are minerals in there, granted, but uh, you do see some kind of ooky-looking stuff. And uh, sometimes you can see if I swish around how dark it looks like coffee, right? So, obviously, you're going to clean that out. Now, there's another little trick here that they tell you when you buy this. And that's that you use uh, citric acid and hydrous. And what you do is maybe once every week or two, you put a couple tablespoons of this and you boil the water in there and that gets rid of the, the calcium or the deposits that build on the bottom of the container. So basically now we just fill it up. I usually make sure my, hot, my water gets hot first because you're going to boil it anyway so you want to start with hot water. And I'll probably just skip to the video while this fills up. It takes, uh, I don't know, maybe 45 seconds to a minute, minute and a half. Okay, there's a little line in there that tells you where to stop filling it. And then you can use your two hands. Come back. Basically, this has an electric plug. There's two plugs. One plugs into the wall. Let me show you the back side here. So the this is like a computer plug, just plugs into the wall. Don't touch it with your wet hands. And then the uh, this plug is very similar, it plugs in the back. So when you basically snap this lid on, you turn it so that plugs in. And then I'm going to have to face it back this way, out of view for you. Just make sure that spout goes into the water. Do that. There's a button to turn it on. And now the fan's blowing. I don't know if that's going to sound's going to come up on the video or not. You might listen for just a couple seconds. 
and uh, I don't know if it's right a few within a few minutes or five or ten minutes, you'll start seeing little drops of water come out. And again, it'll take about four or five hours to actually distill all that. So I do recommend some good clean water, get rid of the fluoride, get rid of the chlorine especially, um, get rid of the other weird stuff that you don't know what's in your city water. And I think it's obviously cheaper than buying and carrying distilled water back and forth from the, the stores. You know, the other alternative is fresh spring water. There's actually some videos I found that are kind of interesting where there, there's actually a website which will tell you where fresh springs are and it will give the measurements of how they've been tested, like, you know, how clean the water is and all that kind of stuff. And you can actually go look for your city that you're in and it will tell you, like on a, on a Google map or something, how far it is to the local spring. And most of them are free and you just take these big five gallon uh, containers, make sure they're BPA free. That's the type of plastic you, you don't want to have is BPA. So you've got to get BPA free. The other thing I've learned from Dr. Kassar is to go with glass. I've slowly over the years started drinking all my liquids from glass. Uh, what I carry to work every day is these uh, Voss bottles. Now, you buy these full of water and it costs, I don't know, like $5, which is kind of expensive, but I bought it just for the bottle. And then every day I refill these and I make the blue-green algae drink that Dr. Kassar talks about. And I'll probably do that in the next video. So, again, thanks for watching this video and learning about distilled water. Check out the links below and visit my website. Talk to you later.